So which is better, hard versus soft contact lenses? I know a lot of people think that hard lenses are a thing of the past, but in fact, they have many advantages and benefits over the soft contact lenses. So join me today as we review the pros and cons of soft contact lenses versus hard. That's today's video. Let's take a look. Hey, what's up? This is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. And today, this video is part of our complete beginner series for contact lenses. Whether, again, you're a complete beginner, you're just trying to figure out which is best for you, soft or hard lenses, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about eye care and understanding exactly what's going on with the eyes, you're in the right place. And if you wanna check out that full series, I have a link to that in the video description below. Now, today we're talking about soft versus hard lenses. Historically, hard lenses, that's where contact lenses used to be kind of the mainstream. And then over time, technology came out and soft lenses came out and they started getting better and better. And now by far, I would say in the eye clinic, most of the time I'm prescribing soft lenses for people. Not because they're necessarily the best, but for mainly for convenience and for ease of the patient. So uh, let's go down some of the pros and cons and kind of figure out which one might be better for you. Now, when it comes to soft lenses, there's many different brands and different things out there. We've done a lot of reviews on those. But soft lenses, again, they're very convenient. They are off the shelf. They're very kind of stock made lenses. And they're very comfortable and easy to get used to right away. Even for a brand new contact lens wear, usually soft lenses, because they're soft and they're larger lenses, they fit onto the eye, they're not really uncomfortable, and overall, they're just easy to manufacture. Where harder lenses, those are made more custom, and so they have to be made and tailored specifically for your eyes, both the power of your prescription, but also for the shape of your eye so that they fit correctly. And because of that, they're usually not as convenient. And so a lot of times patients, when people think that they're getting contacts, they automatically are just thinking of the soft lenses. Now, overall, again, soft lenses are good. They do offer great vision. Unfortunately, they don't come in every parameter and they're not ideal for people with high or unique prescriptions. So if you have a high amount of astigmatism, there are some lenses out there that are good for astigmatism, these soft lenses, but Oftentimes, if you have a strange prescription, you have a high amount of astigmatism, uh, it may not fit super well on your eye, and your vision likely won't quite hit a clear 2020. If it is 2020, it might be more of a soft 2020. And the last two things about soft lenses is that they do need to be replaced, whether it's a monthly or a daily lens, you may need to clean them, but ultimately you, they, they do wear out and so you will have to get new lenses, replace those. And then the price. Uh, daily lenses uh, or soft lenses in general can go anywhere from the $200 range for your supply for both eyes, all the way up to the six or even 800 US dollar range, uh, again, for both eyes for a full year supply. And that can be pretty expensive sometimes. But with that all being said, soft lenses by far are still usually the main way that people wanna go. It's what I wear pretty much every day. Uh, I think soft lenses are a great option and still because of the new technology that's coming out, they're getting better and better. Now compare those pros and cons over to hard lenses. Now, hard lenses are a little bit smaller than the soft lens. The soft lens is around 14 uh, millimeters in diameter on average, where a harder lens is somewhere like nine to 9.5 millimeters in diameter. Hard lenses, again, are made custom. They have to be made and tailored exactly to the surface of your eye, the cornea, and they have to be fit to uh, not move around so much because the more it moves, the more it can potentially either hurt the eye or you're gonna be aware of that. It's not gonna feel comfortable. Now, hard lenses have some great advantages and a few disadvantages. One of the best advantages is that because they are custom made, they can be made especially for your eye and they can enhance your vision. A lot of patients that'll come in and they're saying, hey, yeah, during examination, finding their glasses prescription, they're seeing 2020, but they are just unhappy. They don't feel like 2020 is good enough. And maybe you're identifying yourself right now. You're like, yes, I am that picky about my vision. Then hard lenses are usually the best way to go because hard lenses, because of the optical quality of the plastic the lenses are made out of, and those lenses create what's called a tear prism behind the lens, they kind of enhance your vision and give you even sharper image and quality. And essentially those contact lenses negate any sort of distortion or 
scarring or any sort of real problems on the surface of that eye. And with that all being said, if you're somebody with a really unique prescription, let's say you have a high amount of astigmatism, the surface of your eye is really warped, then hard lenses again can be tailor-made for you and oftentimes give better results as well. Now the real reason that a lot of people choose to go with the soft lenses versus hard is because soft lenses are way more convenient in terms of just the initial comfort, especially if you're a new wearer. So hard lenses, wearing them and getting used to them takes a little bit more time. You're putting a hard piece of plastic on your eye and most of the time your eye is aware of it. So when you first start wearing it, you're like, uh, you can, you can feel it on the eye. Usually people are encouraged to try wearing them for at least two hours to kind of adapt. And then the next day you wear them again for a few hours and again you adapt and then you keep pushing it maybe two to three hours three to four until finally after a few days you're wearing them the entire day and then you just don't realize they're on the eye anymore so your eyes and your eyelids do get used to the contact lens on the eye and then finally when you're fully adapt people are wearing them the entire day and they don't realize it there but if you are somebody that is able to adapt and get over that initial discomfort period, again, hard lenses have a couple other cool benefits. Yes, you do need to clean them and take care of them, but as long as you don't scratch them and you don't break the lenses and your prescription stays stable, these lenses can last almost theoretically forever. That means you pay for one set of contact lenses, you take good care of them, you clean them appropriately, and yes, you still wanna follow up with your doctor, but you may need, not need to order new lenses for years. And because the manufacturing process of hard lenses is usually not as extensive uh, of technology that needs to go into that whole process, Soft lenses are usually more expensive than hard lenses. In fact, I've seen hard lenses go for only like $100. Now, of course, with everything, there are advanced technologies and some of the best, most specifically tailored made lenses can be much more expensive, even in the hard lenses realm. But still, uh, I think in general, a lot of the hard lenses are cheaper than going with the uh, softer lenses. Now, the other big difference between the two is the fitting process. Because soft lenses are kind of made stock so that they can just be able to order them or grab them off the shelf, usually it doesn't take that much of a process for the doctor to fit them. It's a little bit easier. And if it doesn't, one brand doesn't work for you, then changing a few of the parameters are again, pretty simple to do. As long as your doctor has good experience in knowing how to fit that lens and get it onto the eye. Now, hard lenses, these take a lot more experience and expertise in order to fit them. It also takes more time. And oftentimes, uh, you know, maybe you'll finish, get a full finalized prescription for contacts within maybe a day or two visits Visits, but with harder lenses, expect that it may take a couple more visits. It may take three or four just to tweak and get these lenses custom made. So again, they fit well on your eye, they're comfortable, give you good vision, and they're not gonna hurt your eye either. Now there are two specialty lenses that I did wanna mention here quick, but first let me know in the comment section, are you wearing soft lenses, hard lenses? Have you tried them both? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you have a real preference between one of the two? Again, drop that in the comment in the section below. Love to hear from you. Now after hearing about the pros and cons of both soft and hard lenses, you may be thinking like, wow, well, the really only negative side effect or negative problem to a hard lens is that they're not comfortable right away. And why can't we like mix the two? Why can't we have a hard lens with a soft edge around the outside? And you are exactly correct. There are hybrid lenses, which they are a hard RGP or rigid gas permeable lens that has a soft skirt around the outside. And these lenses are fit and they're usually replaced every six months. Now, the great advantage, again, you get good clear vision, it helps correct really unique prescriptions, and the soft lens on the outside makes it more comfortable. Uh, the only real downsides is the price, and again, the fitting process, and quite honestly, removing those lenses, I find to be a lot more challenging, even personally, taking them out, oh, it, it's, it's a little bit of a trick to it. We don't have a video out right now, but if I eventually get a video going over hybrid lenses, I'll come back and I'll put that video link in the description below. So check for that in the future, or if you're catching this on the replay, we'll, we'll have that down below. And the other cool technology I want to quick mention is about RGP or gas permeable contact lenses that you sleep in at night. Most regular gas permeable lenses uh, those ones are, are lenses that you don't sleep in. In fact, you're at a higher risk of infection if you do sleep in those lenses. But there are ones that are made specifically for sleeping in, and those are called orthokeratology or ortho-K lenses. And those lenses are made so that they push on the eye and reshape the surface of the eye so that in the morning you take out the lens and then you can see sharp. 
you can see clearly throughout the day. It's like an inverted uh, treatment for the contact lenses. It seems kind of backwards, but there's a lot of cool advantage to that. Uh, people can use it as an alternative to LASIK if they're not a candidate for LASIK. And there's some useful benefits of using ortho -K or orthokeratology lenses in order to slow down the progression of nearsightedness for children. So uh, there's a lot of cool technology in that, and we have a video coming up soon about that topic because there's a lot of people who have requested that. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about contact lenses, about learning how to put in contact lenses, whether the soft lenses or hard lenses, check out our full series up over here by clicking or tapping the screen here to the side. Or if you want to learn another cool thing from Dr. Eye Health, click or tap the screen down over here. Thank you again so much for watching. Hope you found this educational. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon.